I've been building uh, hi-fi systems, putting together systems for over 40 years. I really got my start helping my father put together some of his systems. So I'm a second generation audiophile. And over the course of, of those decades, what's typically happened in terms of instigating a new system is we've moved a number of times. And when we move from place to place, obviously the room where the hi-fi lives changes. So I typically start building a system. And this I've, I would recommend when building a system, um, starting out with the speakers. Some years ago, I um, would guess more than 10, I met John DeVore originally because I was interested in his speakers. I actually called him and he answered the phone uh, to speak about his speakers and what amplifiers he felt would be good for driving them. At that time, I was interested in tube-based amplifiers. In any event, I've owned a series of speakers that John makes uh, under the DeVore Fidelity brand name in Brooklyn. And so when I moved here to the barn, I needed a bigger speaker. And John had pretty much had just been finalizing the given tens, which is what I own and listen to. And when buying new speakers, um, I then look for the appropriate amplifier to drive those speakers. And I ended up uh, with uh, the Air Acoustics AX520 integrated amp that's designed by Charlie Hansen. And I had heard, originally heard that pairing at one of the shows John had shown with Air Acoustics. And I really liked what I heard there. I was able to get the AX520 in for audition, and it didn't take me long at all to realize that that combination uh, worked for me. And the next piece of this system puzzle was the DAC, um, which I knew I wanted a total DAC, which is designed by Vincent Brient, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, so apologies if I'm not. Uh, but I first reviewed a total DAC believe it's been four years or so and I would have I would have kept that deck if finances permitted but it took me that long really to be able to get together uh, the funds and the timing to get the DAC uh, I own now which is the D16 and I really couldn't be happier with those core components um, my system does everything I want it to do and really that's a short and tall order at the same time I want it ultimately to disappear and get out of my uh, attention and I want nothing but music for as long as I care to listen meaning um, hours in a day days in a week weeks in a month months in a year undivided, uninterrupted flow. And this system uh, delivers that. And I would say from the beginning of this audiophile journey, um, being a having been introduced to it by my father and seeing his attachment to the engineers behind the designs that has always been really important to me as well, is getting to know something about the people who design these products. So over the years, I've gotten to be very close friends with John DeVore. Um, I've come to have a tremendous amount of respect for John and for Charlie Hansen, who designed the Air Integrated Amplifier. And I've met Vincent Brient a few times now at the Munich show and there's something about Vincent's manner and his manner of speaking that is reminiscent to me of, of the way his Dax make music, which is to say 
he's he's soft spoken yet deliberate and he's very quiet <laughs> that makes sense the turntable i own which i know isn't really in the realm of or audio stream but it's certainly in my realm of interest i own a lot of records and i really enjoy listening to records i have a well-tempered amadeus turntable which is designed by bill fireball well-tempered labs i had the pleasure of meeting bill at a ces a few years ago and he was another person i immediately had a tremendous amount of respect for and interested in he is a rather extreme character in, in a very positive way and that comes through in, for me in his designs there's a elegant simplicity that masks uh, layers of complexity which I think you could say about Bill if you meet him and have a couple of beers with him um, uh, the equipment rack that all that gear sits on, I designed with the help of Jonathan Halpern of Tone Imports. Tone Imports uh, is responsible for bringing into the US a number of really wonderful lines, including Shindo Labs, which I used to own, their um, amplifier and preamp, but also uh, Lingo Lab, who make the footers under this rack and Sugden and I use the Sugden uh, phono stage to get from the well-tempered turntable but there's also a step-up transformer in there by a company called Auditorium 23 and that is Keith Aschenbrenner who's based in Germany he designs a number of pieces of equipment including step-up transformers, loudspeakers, and everything is beautifully made. Keith is another fascinating character, someone I have had the pleasure of meeting a, a number of times in Munich as well. He lives in Germany and uh, it's a pleasure to own things by all of these people, made by all of these people. Um, it just adds another level of meaning to the experience for me and the hobby in general. Uh, I enjoy story and people, and there's a wealth of that in this hobby. So that's that. Hi, Michael from Audio Stream. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my system in the barn, but first I thought we'd start out outside. Uh, it's a bit dark, got dark fast, but we have um, a couple wooded acres back here that go up a gentle slope, and on the other side there's a cemetery, which our daughters weren't really crazy about, but I don't mind. And so the system Michael, taking what's, a look at. Michael, Michael, what's that? Keep <laughs> 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 <laughs>